So now that we have the, the smell of uh, raw sewage under control with Toys R Us, we can safely go to thrift stores. Uh, Salvation Army here behind us. We rarely go to this one. It's kind of an annoying part of town. And it closes always. Yeah. It always closes super early and on Sundays. There's there's a lot of nostalgia with this place, but I also hate it now. Right. Like, it used to be great because I knew the manager and we'd get calls and he would just tell me when anything came up that was gaming related. And he even went to the warehouse and would take stuff out of the warehouse for us. So we had the hookup before. Now... This place sucks. You could argue that with all game hunting. Like 2012 was like a magical yeah. Disneyland, and now it's kind of like an abortion clinic. $15 for what? Some sort of Ninja Turtles comic book. Apparently, it's rare. Galactic Wrestling or something. And then $250 for this one. And the price tags are could not be more uninspired. They're just like pieces of a notebook. <laughs> This is nightmare fuel right here. That's horrifying. Oh my god. You know what I expected as soon as you got it up close because of horror movies these days? I expected it to open its eyes. Its eyes to open, its mouth to like open. Gonna happen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a segment of carpet that had a design on it and then they framed it. It almost looks like um, like a 1980s Mario. The, the uh, Sega Master System, right? Okay, I have no Was idea what you're like talking Kid about. Was like Cool or something like that? What I have no idea name? what you're talking about. Brick and Brack. Oh, basically, never mind. It basically means shit. <laughs> There's a video game thing here. It's terrible condition. The Wiimote's like clicking on when you touch the system. Oh. 50. Oh my god. Was it 15? Is it 50 or 15? We'll have to ask if it's 15 and we can pull like a magical discount out of the thing. Then we can go to Bookman's. Dude, let's do it. <laughs> oh, dude, everything's here. Let's Hell go, yeah. Let's go try it. Let's go try it. And we'll also try for the discount code thing. And we'll, let's see if there's a game in it, of course. Oh, yeah. Ghetto game testing. I'm your host, Fanta. <laughs> What'd they give you last time for a complete system like this? I didn't even trade in the system last time. Oh, okay. I the shit. Oh... No dice. Damn. No game. Ugh. So they do indeed want fifty dollars, which is unfortunate. Uh, so it'd be thirty, but that's a hard pass for me. Yeah, it's tough. Nope. Sure, we could maybe fifteen with forty percent off would have been lovely. Yep. Hell, just fifteen would be nice, but I'm not paying thirty dollars for a gamble. Yep. Games. Wasn't that like an anti-war, like '70s, like film? What? Deer Hunter. Yeah, I have not seen that, but that's not what this game is. You oh, just that's... <laughs> Might as well check these out. Oh, Medal of Honor Breakthrough Spearhead. They're expansion packs. Neat. 40% off, so if the games are $1.99, we can get them for super cheap. Oh, that's not bad. But the games are oh. worth super cheap. Wacky Here. Sports. Wacky World of Sports. It's by Sega. You know anything about this? I know nothing. Party game? I, when the Wii generation came around, I think I got one, played Wii Sports and Zelda, and then hated the system and made fun of it for the rest of its life. This is a good example of a show that needs to set sail for the end game. Yeah, is that even on TV anymore? Yes, it is, and it, completely, it continues to jump the shark more and more. Like, it jumped a shark, and then it continued to jump the shark a hundred times over and over again, like it was a relay race. Uh, the main <laughs> who, like, the whole show Wait, was what? About, yeah, the kid with the, like, cowboy hat. Is what? So I have no, I literally don't know a single person that still watches. The I didn't know he's finally. I remember like he lost an eye and then he lost a hand and then now he's finally. Horrible spoiler alert, by the way. Yeah. And uh, I saw some memes, like some webms of like the most horrific CGI I've ever seen in my life. Like comically bad. Um, so I don't know what the show is still doing. What an aesthetic picture. Sorted knives just shoved in a bucket every single time. I wonder how many times employees get cut. I love the like factory sold retail items that always Yeah, have. that doesn't make any sense either. Remember when there's Pokemon games in here? Yep. If only we could go back to those days. When we found things in general. <laughs> Reminds me of that 
looking at it. It reminds me of the N64 game. They're like the Tron motorcycles, aren't they? Yeah, but it's like, it's like the or, motorcycle's a beam. Or what was that Japanese anime that also had the same like motorcycles? I don't remember what it's called. I have no idea. Never actually saw it. Look at that. That motorcycle's got tits. Nice. It, what if Metroid was a girl? Suggestive themes. Open it up. That's kind of dope. I've never seen it oh, before. Oh, the art book. So it's not a manual, it's just an art book. Who's the, who's the company that made it? Sony. First party. Yeah, Sony uh, Sony made it. The, when the creator of this was talking about all the all the hopes and dreams he had for it before it came out, and literally none of that ended up happening. So one of the early skills that you can achieve in the willpower is to teleport yourself. And what the rule that we've imposed is, anywhere you can see, you can go to. You just reach your hand up there, and you can go in that thing. So that avoids the whole walking up and down. It's right. every single game he's ever made. I remember he talked about an apple. If you feel like drop an apple, you'll come back like weeks later and there'll be an apple tree there. Do you remember the Project Natal thing where it like, had that Milo kid? Yeah. Milo knows that she handed him the piece of that, paper. 360? Project that was the 360. Was that Project Natal. Yeah. Oh, it was the man. Kinect, the original Kinect. Yeah, that, that creator was a meme in himself. Clearly. If you hand Milo the piece of paper, he'll have it in his world. Here we go. What do you think? Look at what just happened. Orange. Claire That's drew a picture on a piece of paper. The piece of paper was held up to Milo. Natal recognized the piece of paper, scanned the piece of paper in. Milo looked at that piece of paper, recognized the shape, recognized the color, okay. and able to get on with his project. Help, this is true okay. technology that science fiction has not even written about. How does that even happen? She put it over the TV. I don't. I don't even know how that would have worked. Supposedly there was a demo in the office that had it working, promises. but they never released it because it's not a game. They had some great Lord of the Rings games. I don't think this was one of them, but The Two Towers and Return of the King. This one was RPG, awesome. if I recall, like this more traditional RPG? RPG, yeah. The other you know, ones were hack and manual, slash. I'd be able to tell. But I can't. Let's just get these three images in the back. Yeah, this is more of a traditional RPG. Oh, okay. Look at that OG uh, artwork on the back, too. That's sick. I heard this one was based on the, the book. The books, whereas the, the Two movie. Towers of Return of the King were literally using cutscenes from the yeah. film in like a shitty 480p. Those yeah, two were great. I don't think I ever played this one. I never played this one. But still a better effort than Shadow of Mordor. Shadow of War? Or whatever it's called, yeah. The microtransaction. The microtransaction, the game. Yep. MLB games. Oh, PSP stuff. Neat. I actually seen more and more of it at Goodwills recently. Hunter S. Thompson. Heard of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? I have with Johnny Deep or that's, whatever. That's who that was, is Hunter S. Thompson. Right. It's about an alcoholic that goes to Las Vegas. The like alcoholic, drug addict, crazy guy. Or just real life, Johnny Depp. Antonio Banderas in these? I, I think so. Weren't these the same two people in like Shark Boy and Lava Girl? I have no idea. I don't think they had like a career after the movie. Robert Rodriguez, yeah, Robert Rodriguez, just schlocky kid films with terrible CGI. Look at this. You can tell that that back there is just a green screen. Like, reminds me of Ready Player One. Kind yeah, of. Uh, I haven't seen that yet. Is that out? Yeah, come out today. The greatest. The greatest piece of schlock from the 2000s. What's that? The Doom. Oh, I haven't seen that. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And How do you mess that up? Theo Den or whatever his name was from Lord of the Rings. I have no idea. I mean, it's it's fun. Like it, I almost can't even call it bad because it's just like so. It's a schlock fest. That first person like action scene at the end was just complete schlock. This is true technology that science fiction has not even written about. That was in House of the Dead. House of the Dead spliced in the game. Where they cut to the actual like 3D graphics of the Yeah, place. like the terrible arcade game. Oh look, the two towers. The one we were talking about. Shit. Literally a movie license game. But actually pretty well made. I really enjoyed these. Those are great. Also, you know, also, also was really great for the James Bond games. Like Agent Under Fire. Not Fantastic game. 
or were they? It wasn't based off a movie at all, was it? No, it was just the James Bond license. Okay. But that was really good. This Fable again. Yeah, this is actually for dollar two ninety nine. No, it's not complete, or else I'd probably buy it. Fable is one of those games a lot like Pokemon that I'll literally play and beat like once every two years. The graphics actually aged pretty well, just and the, game the art style has, definitely. I never played those. Prince of Persia, I was terrible at them. I'll never forget the Jake Gyllenhaal. But this was like the edgy oh. one. Oh man, look at the look at the picture on the back. That's where it got edgy. You can tell just by that chick. With all the boobs up. Ultra edge, and he's got like he's got like the emo hair, and he's got blood everywhere. Yeah. Ultra edgy. Said. Ultra edgy. Monopoly. This is cool. So we get the classic trilogy, but it's beat to hell, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd think about it. And then we got the collector's edition epi Oh, oh god. <laughs> I don't even know what to touch. Like, I don't know how to get the... Episode 1 collector's edition. What does collector's edition Monopoly even mean? I don't know. Lord of the Rings. That is sick. That's awesome. You could buy Mordor. That'd be neat. Another Star Wars Monopoly. And Saga edition, so it's all of them. It's neat, but they're all terrible condition. Which is unfortunate. Aren't, aren't they, like, Horse Monopoly. <laughs> Brewopoly, which is beer. It's kind of neat. Booopoly, it's like classic movie monsters, but none of these are actually Monopoly branded, so they're probably terrible. Always, uh, we talk about factory sealed games, always look for those and then take them into your local, like, mom pa trade in store. We've had some good deals where we've spent like three bucks and then gotten like $20 back. It's a really easy flip. I never sell board games on eBay. What's the one really valuable Star Wars one you always say to look out for? Uh, Risk. Star Wars Risk? Yeah. I don't do board games typically, but if they're factory sealed for a couple bucks, I'll pick them up uh, most of the time. I can't imagine last time I've seen a complete inbox GameCube anything in the wild. I don't think we've seen a GameCube in the wild. No, we used to find GameCubes literally every week. You had like I have nine of them, of them still. Yeah. You had like a Lego set of GameCubes. It's a weed whacker. Oh my or like god. A bush trimmer. This isn't even his final form. <laughs> I'm digging this like roller skating rink music. Oh it's my god, like, please like stop. Two... That and box art is so cool. It's like it's... Christmas Christmas the... gift wrapper reflective. And it's got that feeling of like a new game. I feel like somebody just un unboxed it and then put it here. Look at look at how complete that is. It still has the freaking registration slip. Look at how shiny it is too. Mint condition? Mint. Probably worthless, but still kind of cool. I mean, what I've been playing a lot of, not this, but pinball games in general, because they're a lot of fun. I don't know, have you played the new, like, Pinball FX 3 or whatever? I only played Pokemon Pinball in my life, and that includes, like, real life On pinball. On the Nintendo Switch, you should play Pinball FX 3. You get, like, a free board or a free table when you start playing the game. It's actually a lot of fun. I recommend it. Is the game it cost money? No, well, I mean... Why do you say it's, free it's, table? Because it's one of those games you, like, buy what you want. So, like, if you want the Star Wars tables, you buy the oh, Star I Wars Oh, I see what tables, you mean. Okay. So stuff like that. So it's not like you so have to, like... So it's freemium. Kind of. I mean, it's a free game, and then you have the option of buying other tables that you want. Okay. It's, it's the best way you can do DLC. Right. And instead of loot boxes where, I hope I get the table I want. Right. You can actually buy... Okay. This is kind of neat, though, because this is, like, the original pinball tables that used to be everywhere. It's like the old school ones. That's pretty sick. Still dramatically better lore than we got in The Last Jedi. What a flaming pile of shit that was. We get talked a lot about uh, being too negative in our videos, so I'll just leave Last Jedi alone. Awful. <laughs> so it's uh, evening time, a little bit later. Fanta had to hit the road. I'm gonna go check out this Goodwill local Goodwill that's completely flew in the coop here and changed everything. Let's go uh, look at it. Get it. <sighs> Any games or anything in it? Or no. just this big like carrying it's case? These are just the cases. Okay. Oh, there's oh. something in here. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look in there. Nice. Lime green. That case is so sick. I know he's got this one too. Yeah, I might have to buy this. So 20 bucks and ten dollars. I don't need this one, I have one of these already. Mm -hmm. yeah, from I when I was like ten. Much. That's something like a growth, man. 
Oh, there are oh, no, there's cases in here. Mm, cases for the games. Yeah, that's sick. For 30 bucks, I'm probably have to buy that. Can you put it on hold for me while I look around the rest of the store? Yeah. Awesome. If I was a little girl again, this would have been yeah, epic. So lime green uh, Game Boy. Almost gonna have to buy it. 20 bucks is tough to handle, but that case is super cool. Literally never seen one of those cases in the wild. I've seen them in people's collections before, but uh, never in the wild. So 30 bucks for everything. I think I'm gonna have to do it. I think I'm gonna have to. So the games have been like completely moved to the opposite side of the store. We're now in the back of the store. Whereas everything back in the day, as you can see that pretty Arizona sunset. Everything used to be right over there by the front entrance. Now it's here in the back. Devil May Cry 4 on Windows. I don't remember if that came out on PS2 or PS3. I know Devil May Cry 3 did. Everyone hated it for some reason. And then Jillian Michaels. She's just on every shovelware Wii game ever made is her. A lot of children's movies uh, are nostalgic. So when you're an adult, you like still think they're good. We're Back um, is not one of those movies. Such a bizarre movie. Steven Spielberg. The voice cast was really good. I think John Candy was in it. But rewatching, I rewatched it a couple years ago and I was like, what on earth is going on? There's a circus and it's just the graphics and animation are just spooky. They're like unsettling. So uh, let me know what you think about We're Back in the comments section. What a bizarre film. All the toys and board games moved back to this part of the store as well. They've completely changed sides of the store. Definitely not as good of a board game selection as the previous Goodwill. Again with a Monopoly everywhere. All right guys, let's play out the video with a very quick pickup recap. Uh, the only thing I ended up getting this week was this beautiful condition, lime green Game Boy Color. You guys saw it there on the shelf, uh, 20 bucks. Pretty pricey, certainly for a Goodwill find, but uh, this condition was, for me, well worth it. You guys can see the screen is almost immaculate. Um, no blemishes or scuffs on the actual exterior. Battery cover is present with the actual uh, logo still on there and this logo still here, which I always see peeled off. Every edgy, like, sixth grader peeled it off in 1999. So it's nice to still have this stuff on. This, was, this appeared to be adult-owned. Um, and then donated. Too bad the games didn't show up. That would have made the find really awesome. And I decided to leave the carrying case behind when I discovered it was not Nintendo brand. Uh, there was some pretty cool Nintendo brand carrying cases in the shape of Game Boy. If it was one of those, I definitely would have picked it up. But since it was an off brand, I left it behind at 10 bucks. But 20 bucks, uh, probably about 40 bucks for this on eBay. Um, I could probably get 50 with my top rated status in this condition. I'll be keeping this in the collection for now. I'll put it on the bookshelves with the $5 game collection. But awesome find. Um, leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the thrift store content on the channel. And I want to hear a comment. Let me know your favorite prank. E either if you pulled it or if you've seen someone else pull it. It is April Fool's Day. I want to hear your favorite prank or kind of a memorable prank you've uh, been a part of, please do not post Vitality or Prank Invasion USA, epic prank in the hood, gone sexual, gone wrong content. I actually want to hear real life stuff that happened. And uh, me and Fanta will be back with much more content in the next couple of months because it, the weather's actually going to be decent. It's not going to be winter time anymore. So take care, everyone. Have a wonderful month of April. See you guys later.